Hey YouTube, instead of doing our usual type of video that I've been doing lately, I thought I'd change it up a little bit and we're just gonna take it slow and I'm going to carve up this pumpkin and show you how I do my pumpkin arrangements. So today's pumpkin, we're using a strawberry crown pumpkin, not super big. Um, this is one that I actually didn't want to sell. I felt like it was a little unstable, but I'm just going to use it for the purposes of our video. So you will need a sharp knife and we're going to go and cut that. Now the strawberry crown is a bit of a thicker pumpkin. So you'll definitely need to get um, a little farther in. Now, sometimes this first cut with thicker flesh pumpkins isn't enough, so I will go over and I will do a second round so it's easier to open up. So this pumpkin is still pretty hard to, oh, it's almost coming. Pretty hard to open though. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll cut a little bit of a triangle in there. So just a little spot that I can push through. There we go, this came out pretty easy. And sometimes that's all you need to be able to just get it out a little easier. If you're really struggling, you can keep cutting off little bits if you need to, just until you get it to work for you. Oh, that's gotta work. There we go. Okay, worst part done. I have a couple of different sized containers that I can put into my pumpkin to hold the flowers. So for this one, I measured it out and this is probably the best fitting one. Now I'm just gonna have to cut it down to size. should fit about that should fit if I have to I can still trim this down a little bit whoops I realized I forgot to scoop it out so I will scoop out that pumpkin guts yay the greatest job ever said no one All right, I gave my pumpkin a quick rinse so it's nice and clean. And actually in one of the future videos that I'm planning, I'm going to try rinsing my pumpkins and cleaning them a couple different ways to see how long they will last. Um, as nice as these arrangements are, the unfortunate thing is they only last about four or five days. If you get a week out of them, you're super lucky. So we're going to use crumpled up chicken wire in this arrangement just to help the stems stay in place. And you don't have to be fancy, you literally just crumble up the chicken wire into a ball, take your cup and squish it in. And this will help keep the stems from falling out. So now let's talk about some of my favorite flowers to put in. For today's arrangement, we're probably gonna use some status. It's been really, really helpful and awesome to use. I have a few sprigs of mint. We have some yarrow that grew late. I have this one small dahlia that um, I started indoors. It's probably not gonna last long, so it's fine just for me. Um, this is a perennial, I think it's called Artisma, Artisma. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I'm very sorry. Um, what else? Over here we have Sweet Annie, we have some straw flower, some orange, we'll have some beautiful, nice texture to work with. So for once, I'm not gonna speed up the camera and I'm actually gonna make this in real time with you. So oh, what should we start with? Um, I actually like to start with the stuff that's gonna be on the side. So a lot of times for me, 
that will mean some status. And I'm just basically trying to do even colors all around. Let's do some white as well. We'll take that out. The next thing with these arrangements is that a little bit really goes a long way. And you can make them as full or as close to the pumpkin as you want to. Just if you're selling, make sure you charge accordingly. So that is a basic shape. I don't want to make this one too crazy. This one's just for me and I've got lots of orders this week. So I really want to save my flowers for my orders. Um, now we're going to fill in with this stuff. So where I live, so I'm in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, which is in zone three in Canada. And we typically have only, I'd say, 100 growing days to work with but this year um, we've just had a really strange year and so i still haven't had a frost in my garden which is crazy talk like i don't ever remember the final frost like not happening this long i know um other places in saskatchewan and alberta have gotten their frost by now but i am still waiting so quite a blessing actually it's really nice who knows if this will ever happen again Another thing I love about making these arrangements is that it's so good just for using up little bits and bobs. So actually most of the pieces that I'm working with today are the leftovers from a custom order and bouquet that I made uh, this afternoon, which is nice because normally these pieces would just hit the compost, but we can use them in this type of an arrangement. So that sort of wishing that I brought in a piece of amaranth just to trail down, but I didn't, so I might do it after this video. <laughs> All right, so now it's looking like this. Okay, I'm gonna add in one of these. And part of the reason I love this perennial so much is that like a little goes such a long way, you know. That's one main stem, but I'm gonna be able to rip off so many bits off of that. And I mean, especially for those of you, if you don't have all the supplies, if you're having to buy from another farmer florist, like, then your money definitely goes on a lot longer and farther. Even though this is like not typically a fall color we would think about, um, I'm just really enjoying it. I feel like it adds some nice contrast. Oh, I see my, that's a little awkward. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, I feel like it's just adding some nice contrast to my arrangement. So liking how that's looking, I suppose I should. Oh, that's pretty bare. I mean, that's how it goes right this side that you're not doing up front. Sometimes gets a little neglected. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm happy with that. What else? Oh yeah, we have our euro. where I decided to put it now. I should probably put in the hero flower here. Cut dahlia down. And every dahlia has been so precious this year. It's just been a really, really terrible year for dahlias. And um, I feel like I just, 
I don't know, I missed all the Dahlia sales this year, so I didn't necessarily get sort of what I was hoping for. And then the year before, my mom um, cleaned up all of my tubers, but she didn't label them. To be fair, there might not have been labels to be found. And so it was just such a mess of like, what do I have? Do I even like what I have? And every time it bloomed, it was a surprise. But I still have a few Dahlias. I don't know what they are. They just didn't come up. What do you do? All right. So, hmm, I feel like with that red, we could use a little more. Pay oh wait, I have, right, I have these few straw flowers. Now this stem is not looking hot. I probably would not give this to a customer, but this is just for me. So, I think it's fine. Totally fine. Oh, why don't we, why don't we use these little bits too? And right, we have this other little straw flower. Oh, almost done. All right. Oh, maybe more pink in this back corner. In the looks of that. I'm just gonna call it done. Remember, this is just for me. This isn't for a customer. I'd probably do it a little differently if it was for a customer. I think I'd have a little bit more of a hero flower, but again, I'm saving them all for those customers. So thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me making these fun pumpkin arrangements. Um, if you like more content like this, follow the Backyard Business Series, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And also next week, I'm opening the doors to my course in which I teach you all about how to grow cut flowers, how to market yourselves online, especially like in this new age. It's just, it's different. If you're following advice from two years ago, it's not current anymore. And yeah, we'll just discuss all things flower farming and it's for first year flower farmers or wannabe flower farmers. And especially those of you who also live in Northern climates like I do, short growing seasons. So excited when that comes out, but you'll get all the details in my video next week. All right, we'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.